You literally haven't said a word since we got here? Yeah. When I say I'm meditating, I'm just trying to figure out what the fork is happening. I think we might be in an alien zoo or on a prank show. No, Jean, you were dead. Whoa, that's a dope prank. <sighs> Gotta give it up. Eleanor, I told you that first night that we were in a prank show. Oh, yeah. You did. Great job, man. <laughs> Okay, Janet, I have a question. Okay. What is the bad place like? Oh, sorry. That is the one topic I'm not allowed to tell you about. I can only play you a brief audio clip of what is happening there right now. Okay. <laughs> Well, it doesn't sound awesome. What is it with you and frozen yogurt? Have you not heard of ice cream? Oh, sure, but I've come to really like frozen yogurt. There's something so human about taking something great and ruining it a little so you can have more of it. Look at all these dishes piling up. I used to just throw them in the sink and they'd be magically cleaned by morning. I did that. I cleaned the dishes. Oh, then what's up with these bad boys? <laughs> you are unbelievable. <laughs> Shouldn't these be magical trash bags? Five more minutes, flyers! Five more minutes! Oh, man, really? We need a plan. I say we just lie low and hope that they don't notice me. I'm sorry, I don't think I can help you. I just don't like being dishonest, and I can't advise you to be dishonest either. Come on, I'm just asking you to fudge a little bit. You must have told a few white lies in your life. I mean, what was your job? I was a professor of ethics and moral philosophy. Motherforker! I'm getting a stomachache. I'm in a perfect utopia, and I'm, I have a stomachache. I can't believe they've managed to mix one million flavors together, and yet somehow I can taste each individual one. It's remarkable. I got no flavor. That's all I deserve, really. No. Look, I, I appreciate you trying to cheer me up. I really do, but you don't understand. Th this was the very first neighborhood that I got to design. It was my chance to prove myself, and now I've blown it. You know, sometimes a flaw can make something even more beautiful. Like with Cindy Crawford and how short she is. Oh, Tahani, if I made one tiny mistake in my design, if there's a single glitch in the system, if even one blade of grass is angled a, a fraction of a degree off, the whole neighborhood is compromised. Whose dog is that? Guys, whose dog is that? Whose dog is that? See, this is one of those glitches I was talking about. Nice try, puppy. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> that was a close one. Teacup. Have you seen my dog? So here's the situation, Evita. I kind of kicked your dog into the sun. But I got her back, and everything, everything seems fine. Teacup, thank goodness you're OK. Everyone, it is merely a construct of a dog. It feels no pain or joy or love. Teacup doesn't love me? Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. It definitely feels love. Do you actually want a dog that loves you a little bit more? Because I can kick her right back into the sun and get you another one, just like that. No. Oh, boy. We've been torturing each other since the moment we arrived. And everything Michael has done has made at least one of us miserable. He played us like a fiddle.